Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will be solving order of operations problems with exponents, parentheses, and brackets. While we will be using PEMDAS to solve our problems, the steps to solving order of operations problems are still the same whether you use PEMDAS, GEMS, or another method. If you are new to order of operations and want to start with an introduction, check out the links in the description below to some of our other order of operations videos. Let's get started on our examples. In this example, I have 3 squared minus 6 plus 4 times 2. So I'm using order of operations to solve this problem. And I'm going to use PEMDAS. Whether you use GEMS or another method, your steps are still the same. Your visual is just a little bit different. I'm going to start with P, which is my grouping symbols. And I don't have any grouping symbols, which means now I'm on exponents. And I see that I have 3 squared. So that's what I'll need to solve first. And 3 squared is 9. Then I'm going to need to bring down the rest of my problem. So minus 6 plus 4 times 2. And I'm back looking to see if I see any other exponents, and I don't. So I'm finished with exponents, and I'm on multiplication and division. And the only place I see multiplication and division is the 4 times 2. So that's my next step. 4 times 2 is 8. And then I'm going to take the few seconds to bring down the rest of my problem so I can see exactly what I have left and what my next step will be, noting that I am adding the 8 because there is addition sign in front of the 4. So now I don't see any more multiplication and division, so I'm on addition and subtraction, and we solve it starting on the left-hand side of the problem with 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. And I can bring the rest of the problem down. And this is going to be my last step because I only have one more operation to do. 3 plus 8. And 3 plus 8 is 11. So my final answer is 11. As you look through this example, you can see that we have two exponents in our problem. And we are still going to be starting, however, thinking about PEMDAS, where we start with our grouping symbols. And in this problem, I don't see any grouping symbols, so I'm starting with those exponents. First place I see exponents is with the 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. And then I see the 5 squared at the end of the problem. 5 squared is 25, because remember, your exponent means 5 times 5. And from here, you're going to want to bring down the rest of your problem. So we'll have 16 minus 8 times 3 divided by 2 plus the 25. So make sure you bring down everything carefully and correctly. I don't have any more exponents, so now I'm on multiplication and division. Remember, I work multiplication and division from left to right. The first place I see multiplication and division is the 8 times 3. So that's what I'm going to solve first. 8 times 3 is 24, and then I'm going to bring down the rest of my problem. So I'll have 16 minus 24 divided by 2 plus 25, so bringing everything down carefully and correctly. I still have multiplication and division, so I'm still on that step where I have multiplication and division is 24 divided by 2. So that's my next step. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And then again, I'm going to be bringing down the rest of my problem, making sure that I have the signs in the right place, noticing that I am subtracting the 12. Now I don't see any more multiplication and division, which means I'm on addition and subtraction, and I start addition and subtraction on the left. So I'll be starting with the 16 minus 12, and 16 minus 12 is 4. If I bring down the rest of my problem, this will actually be my last step. The last step I'll need to complete is 4 plus 25. And 4 plus 25 equals 29. 
As you look through this example, notice that we have some grouping symbols and exponents in this problem. We're going to start in the same place, though, with our PEMDAS and with P, which tells us we need to start with our grouping symbols. So we need to be looking inside this parentheses because everything inside this parentheses is what we're starting with. And do we see exponents inside the parentheses? And we do. We have the 6 squared. So that's going to be our first step is working inside the parentheses with the exponents. So 6 squared is 6 times 6, and 6 times 6 is 36. Then we'll be writing in the rest of our problem very carefully, paying attention to our signs, our grouping symbols, making sure that we bring down everything exactly how it is. Now, we're still working inside our grouping symbols, inside the parentheses, and I don't have any more exponents, so I'm looking at multiplication and division inside the grouping symbols. And I see that I have 3 times 4, so 3 times 4 is my next step. 3 times 4 is 12. And again, we're going to want to write in the rest of our problem, being very careful of our signs, noticing we are subtracting the 12, and writing everything in correctly with our grouping symbols. Now, we're still working inside those parentheses. We have no more multiplication and division. We're actually on our final step there because 36 minus 12 is the last step in the parentheses. 36 minus 12 is 24. And if I bring the rest of my problem down, notice that I'm on my final step. The last thing I have to do here is the 9 plus 24 and 9 plus 24 is 33. As we start this example, let's look through the example carefully. Notice that you have brackets, you also see parentheses, and you also see some exponents. And we're going to work this problem the same way. If I'm using PEMDAS, I'm starting with P, which is my grouping symbols, which means I'm starting with the brackets. And inside the brackets, I have parentheses. And I start my work with the lowest level grouping symbols. So I'm going to be starting inside the parentheses inside the brackets. And inside these parentheses, I don't see any exponents. So I'm looking at the multiplication and division. I do have multiplication. I have the 6 times 2. So the 6 times 2 in this problem is going to be your first step. 6 times 2 is 12. And then you're going to very carefully bring the rest of the problem down, paying attention to your operation signs, your grouping symbols, your exponents. So you have everything written in correctly. Now we're still working inside these parentheses. And I don't have any more multiplication and division here. I actually only have one more step inside the parentheses, so that is the step I'm going to be working. It's an addition and subtraction step, 12 minus 4. And 12 minus 4 is 8. And then I will be bringing the rest of the problem down. Again, pay attention to your grouping symbols, your exponents, get everything written in correctly. And we are back. At the beginning of PEMDAS here, we're back at our grouping symbols. We're going to be looking inside the brackets here. I don't have any parentheses. I don't have any exponents. The only step I have left inside the brackets is the 8 times 8. So that is your next step. 8 times 8 is 64. And then I'll be bringing the rest of my problem down. So 64 minus 2 to the third power times 3. So this step's taking care of my grouping symbols. So now I'm looking at exponents. And I have the 2 to the third power. So that is my next step. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 more is 8. 2 to the third power equals 8. And then I'm going to be bringing down the rest of my problem. So now I have no more exponents in my problem, which means I'm on multiplication and division. I see multiplication and division with the 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And I am subtracting the 24. So I will have 64 minus 24 as my last step. And 64 minus 24 is 40. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.